Tommy, readers have released another monster! Huh, that's bad news. You better call your Tyrannosaur. We need Tyrannosaur power, now! Hey, Jason, is he supposed to look like that? Tommy, call your Dragon Sword! Hey, Tommy! Yours looks almost as dumb as mine! Hey everybody, welcome to Review Time. Sorry for the really sharp lighting here. Um, I'm your host, Islip, and it's dark and I don't have proper lighting here. Um, but, regardless, I wanted to do this short review on these guys. Now, you might recognize them as the Red Ranger or Jason something from Power Rangers, sorry, um, I don't remember his name, in the, in, I know it was Jason, I don't remember his last name, then we got Tommy Oliver and Tommy Oliver, otherwise, you know, the Red Ranger, or you could go with Rocky if you liked, uh, I think Steve Cardenas, I think it was, um, and you have three of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, now these guys actually are from the Power Rangers Super Mega Force line, which was... Um, the American version of Gokaiger. So we've got the Tyranno Ranger, we've got the White Tiger Zord Ranger, and we've got the Dragon Zord Ranger, because, you know, why not? Well, green, red, white. So, um, these are actually pretty little, pretty nice little figures. They stand about five inches in height they've got decent articulation and they all come with weapons and their weapons come some of the weapons in, as in the case of the green ranger come on can be plugged into a little hole in the hip and uh, they're actually pretty well detailed i don't there the, there's not enough a lot of coloring but as far as molded detail there is a lot let's see if i can you can kind of see it because of the bright light that's just kind of washing it out a bit, but nothing I can do about it. And you can get a lot of posings out of these guys. Um, move this over. There is a bit of articulation lacking in some areas. The head is not on a ball joint, so you've got just uh, 360. Arms can go up and down, rotate 360 at the shoulder they bend at the elbow but they don't have an upper elbow bend so you cannot get uh, inward arm turning but there is rotation at the uh, top of the glove which I don't quite get but okay there is no waist even though it looks like there should be legs can go forward about this far go back about that far go out way out like so so you can get a hella splits and uh again no upper thigh rotation but there is a rotation uh at the upper calf which is again weird and knee bent now you can get some decent poses out of them there's no foot you know and there's there's peg holes in the bottom so if you have a stand that uses peg holes you can use that um but you can get some some decent almost iconic looking poses out of them, and you can even get them, if you balance them properly, get them to stand on their own, which, there, same deal goes for this guy, his, uh, his sword doesn't peg anywhere, but his gun does peg to his hip, and he can, 
He's, out of the three, so far the only one that comes with two weapons. Um, I don't know if any of the other rangers in this set come with any weapons. Um, come with any, with, come with dual weapons, I should say. But, yeah, you can, again, get some poses. You know, straight leg, bend, um... We've got that, and then of course we've got the White Ranger with Saba, and out of all three of them, I think he, because just because of the detail of his costume, looks the best, and everybody's falling over. Again, his articulation is exactly the same. Actually, his articulation, his and the Green Ranger's articulation is a little hampered because of this plastic uh, shield thing that looks like it should come off, but it doesn't seem to split anywhere. It's a shame I can't stick it on somebody on another ranger. Like I would love to get another one of him just so I can get this part off and put it on this guy. And also, like you'll notice the the gold is different. Like the gold on the white ranger is a little more goldish and shiny. This one's a little more mustard colored and not quite as shiny. But uh they still look both look really good. Um and I just realized they've got numbers on their butts. So, but yeah, you've got Saba, and you can have you can have him wheel Saba as a sword, or turn Saba around to face him, so he can he you know he can talk to Saba like he did on the show. Incidentally, in Japan, this ranger was not part of the series that this ranger came from, or the Red Ranger. Uh, they're actually one series removed from each other. So. So, yeah. Uh, they run about $7.99, $8.99 at Walmart, where I got them. And they're pretty cool looking. I mean, they've got a decent amount of articulation. I mean, it's not the best articulation in the world. But considering the articulation that the originals had... Um, at times, this is actually pretty darn good, especially at the size. So, that's it. I'm Islip. I love these figures. I recommend these figures. If, you know, I mean, they're a good price and everything. I mean, if you want something with exquisite articulation, you're going to have to go for, like, the SH Figure Arts um, stuff. Which is going to cost you a bit more. But, um, if you see these at your... Walmart or Target or wherever. Um, actually, I think I got this one from Target. These two from Walmart. Um, I say pick them up. Pick them up. They are, especially if you have a hankering for Mighty Morphin. They look the part. They've got more than enough detail. They're awesome. They're awesome for what they are and for the price you pay. Um, I'm Islip. Thanks for checking out another review. Second one of 2015. I almost said 2014. Arrivederci.